Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Spinning Death, a very fun overclock for the Breach Cutter, although not necessarily one of its strongest overclocks, at least compared to some of its other options. It still can be quite good. Spinning Death is an unstable overclock. That makes it so instead of your beam firing out normally like it does with the Breach Cutter, it fires in place and spins around. This also extends the width of your beam so that you can hit potentially more enemies, and it also makes it so your beam's lifetime is longer so you can do more DPS when enemies are staying in the beam. Downside is that we lose out on a substantial amount of DPS, so this has to build up over time. We don't have nearly as much burst damage as we otherwise would with the Breach Cutter. So this one does change up the Breach Cutter quite a lot, and it makes it so you have to use it basically just as a close range option for crowd control. It can work really well in hallways, it can really work well in tunnels. It doesn't work very well against flying enemies though, or ranged enemies at all. You can't hit web spitters or acid spitters easily with this unless they just crawl right to you, or you run right to them. So the way I have this built is going with longer duration in tier one. This makes it so we have a seven and a half second beam that just spins around and chops everything up. Tier two, I'm going with the even wider width so that we have four and a half meters of uh, length on this so that we can hit a large majority of bugs. You could go with extra ammo here in tier two though. That is a really good option too. Tier three, I'm going with the fast deploy. Either one of these is fine. I usually don't reload the breach cutter most of the time I'm just using born ready to reload that that's what I have set up for this and tier four I'm going with the stun so that when enemies do get hit by this they get stunned and stay inside the beam And then in tier five I'm going with the plasma trail This will let us get extra DPS on any sort of target because the plasma will linger and be hitting them as well as when the beam is just spinning around You could go with triple line split in tier five that will make it easier to hit more enemies It doesn't give you triple damage though. Um, I have been asked that quite a few times times if triple line split makes it so you get triple the damage it doesn't it just makes it so your hitbox is much bigger the downside to this one is that we do not have any sort of long range so i would recommend pairing this with something for long range what i'm going with isn't necessarily the most long range this is a em refire booster on stubby this is for spraying at close to medium range but it does have some long range to it and we can use our turrets a little bit for those longer ranges you could go with super slim rounds this one reduces your spread so you do have a longer effective range and it gives you a larger mag size that's really nice or you could go with something like lightweight rounds because we don't have the most bullets for our breach cutter this will allow you to have a lot of bullets with stubby i would recommend you go with extra rate of fire with this one but aside from that you could just go with a straight two build if you wanted something for the warthog i would highly recommend magnetic pelt alignment it gives you good range with the warthog and at least lets you kill things at medium range pretty effectively will give you some long range something that the breach cutter with this build does not have if you want something else, you could go with lightweight magazines. That's another good option too. That's just a bonus to the Wardog. Still will work fine at close to medium range. And if you're looking for something with the Loki, you could try Neural Lasso. Neural Lasso makes it so you can keep bugs inside of Spinning Death for a lot longer. So it is actually really good with this particular overclock. If you don't want something like that, you want something more straightforward. Executioner is a great one or something like uh, Explosive Chemical Rounds is another great one that gives you good crowd control and gives you good single target damage. Yeah, that's a lot of bugs. Okay, well, sorry little loot bug. That should clear up basically the whole horde though. Oh, hey, Steve. You came to me, buddy. Appreciate that. There's a lot of weird stuff here. It's already a strange setup and I ran through most of my bullets already, which is... Not great. Because I have no nitra right now. I can get some though. Alright, let's take care of this rock box. Might be better to do all this before we fight Betsy, because Betsy's kind of off to the side, I believe. She will be nice for the actual end game stuff though. Alright. Ooh, there's plenty of flowers over here too. Yeah, it looks like a decent amount of stuff. Alright. Get him spinning death. Get him! This is where Spinning Death kind of excels. Definitely against crowds, sometimes against larger enemies. Um, you're also immune to the uh, Spinning Death damage as Engineer. You aren't as other classes and you'll still take some damage from it, but it's not a huge amount. It's also really good for resing teammates too. So if you see a down teammate, launching this on top of them is a pretty good uh, strategy. We're rich. <laughs> Come down here, gold. Come over here. Come over here, Molly. We're rich. I can't ping this at the moment, but at least I can kind of fling it. Yeah, yeah, whoop. Ow. Roller, you're not rich, I'm rich. Leave me alone. 
I found this gold fair and square. I stole it from the wall. Alright. Oh, wait, I can get another Steve. There's another spitballer up here. Go get him. Oh. Betsy was up there then. No, hello, Betsy. Don't know if she'll come over here, maybe? Oh, yeah, she will. Betsy's not afraid. Oh! <laughs> hey, at least my gun reloaded, though. Oh, that might actually be hurting Betsy a decent amount. Because that lingered for quite a while, and she stayed there. She's gonna hide here for a second. Oh! <laughs> okay. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just get shot to death immediately. Alright, go walk back through the, the landmines, Betsy, please. She's just pointing. <laughs> Okay. Like beating a bottomless pit. All right, Betsy's still being injured. Whoops, did not mean to dash out, but that's okay. Yeah, get her proxy mines. I don't have any more of them. Okay, that hurt me. Wait, that one's dead. It's weird. All right. Oh, that's right, I didn't call down another resupply. <laughs> I can really use that. Even if Betsy's... rather mean. I think if I set it right there, Betsy might walk around. Maybe. Don't! Oh, or she'll <laughs> lock onto me through the wall. Okay, well there goes all my downs. I hit her and... There we go. Alright, well, that was kind of scary. <laughs> Betsy destroyed me there. I'm some of the ammo. Red sugar. Yeah, let's more ammo. get some resupplies. I want to have kind of everything. We probably should have just ignored Betsy. She was, I think, more trouble than she was worth. Hey, Betsy. <laughs> you gonna try not to kill me now? I would appreciate it if you didn't. <laughs> Okay. Let's put one there, we'll put another one over there, and put one over there. And you know what, there we go. Full perimeter. Well, almost full perimeter. Take them down. <laughs> Get him other proxy mines. Oh man, they used up that proxy mine up there. <laughs> oh, I'm now. Okay. Yeah, Bosco. We got this. I haven't really seen a need to use spinning death so far since there hasn't been them kind of piling on us from one direction. Or, or something. Oh, maybe it was the goo bomber that I heard. <laughs> yeah, just hold it in place. Oh, fuel cells are right there? Okay, that's fine. Um, I do have enough for another resupply, which is pretty cool. You know, yeah, probably want to stay a little bit further back from that. Okay. Yes, there we go. We got the twin blades of death. Let's get this thing built up then. And fight our way through the rest of the horde that we got coming. Potentially another horde. I also might have wanted to put up my turrets first. Oh well. I hear bugs are coming. 
I'm gonna set these up here. <laughs> At least I thought I heard bugs going. It might just be a roller that I hear. Uh, let's plug that. You can also potentially plug. Yeah, okay, maybe not plug that. Yeah, throw those up there. Okay, pick these things off. Yeah, pick the menace off to you. Or warden. Yeah, go get them. I think there's another warden. I don't have any more proxy mines. More stuff coming this way. It doesn't look so much this other direction, but I sealed that up pretty good, so we should be mostly okay with that. Yeah, unless they want to walk through there, but I don't know if they will. Reload my turrets a little bit more and, and continue on spraying. <laughs> Toss out another one of these, too. Yes. Get them. Betsy, yeah, you cover that other direction. I guess they're done showing up from that other way. Oh, we got another weird bug. <laughs> okay. Alright, then. Easy enough. Might as well grab this, deal. We're not hurting for ammo, but I want to throw out more proxy mines around here. Damn. It's gonna hit me again. <laughs> okay. Let's let spinning dead do its thing. Let spinning dead do its thing. <laughs> now. Oops. Okay. This isn't a great place that I put myself in. It's just a hole in the ground. Okay. Yeah, let the spinning death take over. <laughs> Put another one down. Don't need to reload because we can just have either born ready or this reload us. Okay. Let's be on our way then. Away we go. Later, Bosco. Take care. Let's see how many kills we got. 316 and 318 mined with those three downs all going to Betsy. Hey, we completed at 25 minutes even. Cool.